The dailies every day on Core TV News. Thanks for joining us again on Core Digest West 8. Don't forget that you can now view us live in case you're having challenges streaming on website. All you need to do is download the Wawu TV application on your Google Play Store. It's W-A-W-O-O-TV. Uh, or find another alternative link on our Twitter page. Uh, download that application, of course, then you can watch live TV. There are two new stations there now, Al Jazeera and Call TV News. So you can just, with a click, you can watch us live and we can get your contribution all across the globe. I have the Vanguard, I have the Guardian, the Nation, as well as the Daily Sun, okay, and the Punch. So I have about five papers to go. Let me run through them quickly. We start with the Vanguard newspaper. Certificate Saga, my documents with INEC says Buhari and the writers here yes, says litigants will remain in court as lawyers drag him to court, accuse him of false claims. A rather front page picture here, quite interesting, children refugees. Nigerian children showed the UNHCR wristband in the United Nations Refugee Agency refugee camp in Bagasola by Lake Chart, which borders Chart, Nigeria, Niger, and Cameroon. That was um, on Monday. There's another picture of children carrying firewood to the camp. Oh my. Well, looks as if we are very busy with elections now, but we can hardly see these ones. Re Buhari versus Jonathan Beyond the Election by Kyle Defiami, that's on page 58. Now, politicians are also writing. Uh, you also recall that um, the former CBN governor also uh, published an article, I believe it was on Vanguard, and quite a number of reactions to that particular one. Of course, some Femi Falano also wrote, and the Lagos State Governor. Well, there's a new one by the former Ikiti State Governor, Kyle Defiami. You might want to find details on page 58 if you care to check. We'll overcome all challenges before elections, says Jega. That's on page 8 of the Vanguard. Afeni Ferry endorses Jonathan. They say it's because of the actualization uh, of the National Conference Report. Get details on page 54. And um, when are the 2015 presidential debates? Page 19. Amazingly, a viewer also sent me a WhatsApp message from the UK this morning asking if I'm aware of when the presidential debates will be taking place. Well, one was held over the weekend. What we saw were just representatives of the political parties. APC was obviously absent. But we're also looking forward to a platform where we will see the main players, the presidential candidates themselves. Uh, telling us about issues. At least for once, we'll have, uh, we'll have a situation where they're talking about their plans and not just attacking personalities. A time for creative solutions, an innovative approach to dealing with corruption. That's on page 17. How does Suki confirm Nigeria as the never-ready country? Page 19 of the Vanguard. The Mr. and Mrs. is also here. Oh, my God. Look at you. You're still as beautiful as I met you 17 years ago. That's the man. And the woman says, and you're still the sweet mouthed smooth operator. <laughs> I fell for 17 years ago. All right, let's check for some sports at the back page of the Vanguard. Agbono Vere passes on. Uh, Nadal crashes out of Australian Open. Of course, uh, Agbono Vere is the former Super Eagles goalkeeper uh, who lost the battle to cancer. He died age 48 in Spain. They saw rest in peace. The where appears you recall for financial support last week that also saw Spanish sports publication Massa picked up on the appeals and ran a story on the AFCON 1994 winner. Well, to other stories, AFCON 2015, it's win or bust as Cameroon battle Ivory Coast on page 62. Today's matches for football lovers, Guinea will be slugging out with Mali at 7 p.m. And of course, um, Cameroon will be slugging out with Ivory Coast, I believe, at the same time. 
All right, let's move away quickly from there to the Guardian newspaper. INEC others meet over PVC's IDPs. The riders group urges elections in victims' camps. APC alleges fresh plot to scot to polls. And um, the front page picture is 70 years after the Holocaust, activists and pupils of Ojodu Junior Grammar School forming numeric 17 to symbolize 70th year after the Holocaust in Lagos yesterday. HIV AIDS patients urge Jonathan to sign anti-discrimination bill that's in page 3. Nigeria's unity not negotiable, says Anini. DG, that's on page six. Four Squares Church, not at war, says General Overseer, page six of The Guardian. Why we shunned northeast by EU post observers, that's on page two. President campaigns in Ondo Rivers, page four. Civil groups demand office seekers plan to protect human rights, page eight of The Guardian. It's day 289 after the abduction of over 200 cheaper girls, and The Guardian is saying, bring back our girls. Now, on the front page of The Nation, uh, party chiefs close to blows over election shift plot. The riders will take the best decision, says Jega. INEC distributes 42.7 million PVCs, and you have the distribution update on the front page of The Nation. Military deploys drones to battle Boko Haram, sect hoist flags in Monguno, and um, an interesting front page picture here shows a Nigerian refugee posing with our newborn child named after Chad's president Idris Deby in the United Nations Refugee Agency camp in Bagasola by Lake Chad, the brothers Chad, Nigeria, Niger and Cameroon. The Daily Sun has a different story to tell. This morning, Boko Haram unveil kid soldiers. The writer here releases new video on military training. You have the kid soldiers at Boko Haram training camp as shown in a video yesterday. Explosion in Ohaneze Secretariat in Enugu. We won't allow sit tight leadership of Yoha. And no going back on PVC's use, says Jega. Again, APC alleges fresh plot to shift elections. Certificate Saga, I am not disturbed by court case, says Buhari. And Fanny Kayode denies manipulating Cambridge document. Yesterday, I had a guest who also had his own theory of why the courts were closed and why they were open. I hope that um, <laughs> we'll also find details in that subsequently. Our final point of call on the daily this morning is the Punch newspaper. Don't delay polls. 26 parties tell INEC. We showed you that earlier in my opening remark. But you can also get details of that on page 10. Our friend Ferry endorses Jonathan, page 26. Power generation drops by 2,040 megawatts. Page 38. The big one here, soldiers open fire on Bornu Gardner's convoy in Aero. Page 2. Nigeria, a failed state under Jonathan, says David West. That's on page 2 of the punch. President Mark Nock Maku for dumping PDP. Page 14. Who could have ever thought, like six months ago, that Labra and Maku and Mr. President will be on dividing parts. I mean, it's amazing. Dollar speculation. CBN may suspend banks forex licenses. That's on page 37 of the punch. All right, let's move away quickly from there. You can get any of the choice for details. And don't forget that from 11 o'clock, we'll also bring you up to date with stories as they break every top of the eye here in call on call TV news. I will continue in our discourse towards a credible February poll between the politicians and the electorate. And we're going to quickly start by defining some of those terms that are rife now in such sensitive political periods. One of it is free. Of course, you must have talked, heard about free, fair, credible election. Free is one of the top 1,000 frequently used words in the English dictionary. Of course, as an adjective, it means being able to act, uh, able to act or be done as one wishes, not under the control of another. Okay, an example here says, I have no ambitions other than to have a happy life and be free. Okay, so your ability to act or to vote the candidates of your choice would also characterize the 2015 elections being described as being fair. You are mean being free, I beg your pardon. Okay, more examples there talks about able or permitted to take a specified action. You are free to leave. Of course, this one talks about um, subject neither to foreign domination 
not a despotic government. An example will be a free press. So my ability to walk around on February 14 to find out and report balanced stories uh, about the conduct of the election could also characterize it as being free. Let's move away quickly from there to the term fair. Fair means treating people equally without favoritism or discrimination. The group has achieved fair and equal representation for its members. Another example is a fairer distribution of wealth. So I think this has to do with the, uh, the umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, being able to treat votes and voters, votes cast equally without favoritism. Of course, we might also be talking about security agencies here, treating people equally without favoritism. Just or appropriate in the, in the circumstances, to be fair, this subject poses special problems. It's not fair to take it out on him. And it goes on and on like that. You see another archaic meaning there of a means of procedure, not violent, triforced by fairness. All right, the last term there is credible. And we've heard about credibility of elections in time past. This is talking about being able to believe, able to be believed, convincing. Few people found a story credible. So the ability of the international community, much more than that, the generality of the Nigerian electorate and the Nigerian people, the Nigerian public, to believe and be convinced that the election was free and fair might characterize are uh, what we now describe as its credibility. All right, it's Call Digest exclusive to Core TV News, and I'm joined this morning by President of Citizens Liberation Advocacy Initiative, Adebola Adeniji Adele. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Good morning, good morning. Happy New Year to you. It's the first time we're meeting I wish this you, year. I wish you the same. Okay, let's start from the the school of thoughts of credibility. Okay. We've seen INEC yeah. in our opening remarks, you saw the chairman meeting with representatives of political yeah. parties. The day before yesterday. Yes. The day before yesterday, I yeah. believe. And then you've seen um, security agencies also up in their games. But the big question now is what role does the electorate has to play in ensuring a credible election <sighs> at the federal poll? Thank you for honoring me also this money and the opportunity given to me. Let me give credit to the INEC first for being fair. That's number one, you make me to see this money. Okay. That the elections of 2015 we are going to have now, which is the February 14th, is going to be credible. One, <clears throat> the, the reader card machine, they wanted to give it to 100, 120,000 polling units, okay. is going to make it very credible. Indeed. That is number one. So, the, the role that we need to play, it is all of us. All of us. Because we have seen the political party people, they are playing their role, as I said earlier. We have seen the INEC playing their role, as I said earlier. Now, the one middle is the electorate. What role? Are they going to play? And they are only going to play show from the the, uh, the, the the nation this morning. You see the percentage of the PVC. That's right. Okay, that is the where you are going to see the play of the electorate. Mm. Millions of cards are still there in the annex office be picked. Okay. Okay. Then you see the percentage of those people who have collected their PVC. Why some even did not bother at all to go there. And that is where the danger is. That, uh, that is our comment that you need it. That is what can use to liberate this country. Your voters card. The role of the electorate is also being uh, uh, doubled into or impacted by the perceived roles of these stakeholders, politicians and INEC. For instance, you talked about INEC being fair. Yeah. Many I would doubt that statement mm. because there are also calls, for instance, before you came in, we showed the clip where the Lagos State Governor yeah. says that yeah, he's not, not been able, able to, to get his PVC that, that and is, that he's probably going to vote with his temporary voter cards. Mm, that, how, how will you define fairness? That is, that is, that is, that is, now that I'm soliciting for INEC, but that is where we give our instruction, our, uh, we urge them. 
or we advise them. But whenever they are going to do something that is nationalized, they must put a competent people. People who are competent, not because they, they are serving now or they are, they, they are doing their youth cup now, you put them there, they can mess up things. Probably maybe the training is not here enough. They ask them to have backup, some did not have backup. They ask them to keep some data because of the 3,000 or 5,000 they have not yet get an Easter instantly, they destroy a lot of things. So see what it's costing now. That a whole number one citizens of Lagos State have not got his voter's card. That is, that, is, that is sad, very sad indeed. But in other words, so far the temporary is there. That's why we are saying to you, that the 2015, it has come, that is gone. That if you have your temporary voter card, Allow them for this year to cast their vote so that they cannot be disfranchised. Of unless, if the governor of Lagos State can have his card also. But on the other side, using yeah. TVC does it not in any way uh, perforate the credibility <laughs> of the card readers that you made mention? Right, well, that, that is the only area my conviction is that because uh, the card reader is going to read just only the permanent voters card, but the temporary one cannot be read. So that is just only I'm um, confused. I don't know before the end, but the INEC make us understand that the voters and the card will be taken mostly every day now before election. So and let me let me quickly tell you this. See, when we are talking of credible fear, it slides on every one of us, as I said earlier, that we have three categories of people that normally go out to cast their vote. Three category people. The first category people are people who are using the amount to vote. <laughs> you have not seen it before. When you go around now, you see them at the polling, at the uh, uh, paper readers, free readers, mm. talking from their left and right. If you can check very clean, clearly, they might not have their voters card. The day of election, they are at home. Okay? Then they are the one that will come out, ah, we have said it's going to win, it's not win, they rig it. Yeah, they use mouth to convince and put fire in Nigeria. Those are the ones that use mouth to vote. The second people are those people who are voting on social media. I'm sorry for politicians who are relying on those people. I'm very sorry. So those two areas bring fire into the country because you have not genuinely to see, we don't, as our organization, as I'm telling you this morning, we don't use rally to judge who is going to win the election. No. We have stopped that one since, two, uh, since equity. Ondo. And also state. We have stopped it. We don't use that. Because we see that under our analysis that we see little people who have voters card out of the multitude, they are spectators yeah. who are there. So the genuine people who do go out to cast their vote are Nigerians. Okay. Genuine Nigerians who have their PVC. Likewise, they have their temporary one. They have not got their PVC. But they line up that day in the sun, in the rain, cast their vote and stood by it. Those are the eligible, I think, our NGOs see that they are, they are patriotic Nigerians who want a change, not the change we are seeing just on the people. Are you optimistic that we're yeah. going to have a credible election? Of course, yes. How of do course. we place this um, general belief that it is the best Riga that wins election in thank, Nigeria? Thank you. You see, we have seen this country. We are, you have seen how those politician people are playing their game now. And I've not seen one ideology from one or the other, unless abusing. Okay? They abuse themselves. And we now stayed back. And that's why I love the people that we are in this NGO. We study them so clearly that you cannot, because of one thing that somebody is doing, I use it to campaign him or campaign against him. No. What is the issue? Why, if you are there, what are you going to do for us? Okay? I am not in the Sugar-coated mouth people are doing now. Mm. 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 But it is only people, I'm going to beg this money, okay. my dear brother, are uh, the electorate who has that power. They forgot that they have that power mm. to use it genuinely for those who they want as their leader. You know, I came here last year, as we said, that any day we wanted to have an election should be the day we should have a joy in our life. Because we wanted to choose a good leader then, because we have seen one, either the one we are using before, or the one that is there before, or the one we wanted to put in. We need to be very happy to come out earnestly to cast a vote for somebody that we think. And in election, only thing you cannot miss is your conscience. 
You can't deny it. You can't forfeit it. But immediately you have seen that this man is my conscience said I should cast my vote for. Go directly with it. Hmm? You, your organization yeah. uh, organized um, a national electoral yeah. summit recently. Yeah. What are your discoveries? Yes, what we decided that day was that one, one has been knocked out. Uh, we call it National Electoral Summit for the Southwest Nigeria. What we did that day was that we reached a, a community that we are going to protest Nigeria, they are carrying people who have not called, collect their footers card, who have not got their PVC, in, the, in an area to, for INEC to see that. But INEC has dismantled that they have been so much as the way we think it that they, uh, they have been having their voters card. The number two is that <clears throat> We have been reached all these Nigerians, sensitize them, reorientate them, that as from now, don't ever have it in mind to cast your vote for logo or emblem of this political party in this country again. We agree on that. The only thing we also see wanted to do is that to see that personality of that person, who is that person, who, am I, who is going to take down my vote because that's why we said, don't waste that vote. The way it is now, mm. it looks as if uh, the two prominent parties, okay. uh, the best they've done now is to about mouth the personality mm. of each other's candidate. Mm. How does an average electorate or, you know, a prospective voter mm. make a qualitative decision in this atmosphere? That is where my buff was again. As I'm speaking to you this morning, if I'm not mistakenly, I think we have 14 candidates of presidential of this country. Okay. They are all Nigerians. But <laughs> when there's no money to upgrade yourself, of announcing yourself to the people, it's going to be very difficult for people to know you. Take that one for example, for, for, first, for, for instance. Number two, you see the PDP, they're in government. You see APC also they are in government. In some areas, they come together as one. Okay. They have their account in a bus, in a, in a, in, not in a separate, in, in a fold that they dispute to use. Mm -hmm. Then other political parties are using their individuals who love them. That is what the bridge wants to cast away in Nigeria. We don't want them to see whether you have money or you are in government. Let's see you that you are a very, very permanent Nigeria that can change this country for good. That is what we are looking for. You are going to see surprise in 2015. Yeah, but how do you, we intend to achieve that? Are you saying there's a possibility of another political party uh, winning presidential elections apart from the two prominent ones in Nigeria? Why? If I said yes, it's like I'm lying to you. If I said no, it's like I'm saying the truth to you. But what I will tell you this morning is that the winning is not by faces or by all these adverts you are seeing on papers or radios. Okay. It is from the electorate who are there. They too have been wiser enough. In 2011, in 2011, you will see some changes where you think, you know, ah, incumbent people, they cannot deceive them, they cannot remove them. You will see at the end of the day, some people are left their positions who are the incumbent people. All right. Let's take a commercial break now and we'll be okay. back to take calls from our viewers. Stick around, don't go away. Thank you. Your account is too low for this call. Never get stranded with MTN Extra Time. You can now borrow airtime and pay back at your next recharge. Dial star 606 hash now to enjoy the new MTN Extra Time. MTN, everywhere you go. All right, welcome back. It's Cool Digest Wednesday towards a credible February poll between politicians and the electorate. We have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah. You Terrific. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Ayorinde. I deal with you. Calling from Lagos, right? Okay, Ayorinde is calling from Lagos. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, my political contribution is this. Regarding to what the man that the case was saying, that the Nigeria has been very, very desperate for change in this country. I know something must happen to Diana. This is going to have to change. 
Thank you very much for your contribution, Ayuride, from Lagos. You were talking about um, the chances of other political parties, yeah. apart from the two prominent ones. Yeah. But how prominent are they at this time for the electorate to see? Let me let me quickly correct the impressions of uh, Mr. Ayuride. Mm. Let him, anytime that he's talking, remove desperate the there. Mm. If you go to the general, we know the, the, the meanings of something too desperate. Okay. So, in the election, you should not let it be too desperate because those people you are fighting for, you might disappoint you yeah. at the end of the day or the four years. Why are you now putting it so desperate? Yeah. <laughs> so that is just that. Now, see, the, the, what I'm saying is that all political parties are the same. It is only one that has seen money to spend. Don't you know, you don't know how much they are spending for one rally? Yeah. In this, as we are saying, <laughs> a rally in each state is money. And you cannot compare those ones and those people with those people that don't have money to take it along. But the INA make us understand that all political parties must go around all the 36 states of the federation. But if you have seen a rally of one place for five million and multiply by 36 states, it's money. Okay? And some political party might not be able to withstand it. Would that, that impact on the quality of decision the electorate will be making that at the poll? That is it. That is, that is why we are saying that we, it very soon now, that thing will be soon go away. Okay. Very soon. Okay. Very, very soon. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure of that. It is because of what in-depth we have had before. Mm -hmm. You know, we, that is why we are not putting it a little by little that very soon we'll get to the where we are going. Let's very take soon. this call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Call Digest. Yeah, can you turn down the volume of your TV set? Please turn down the volume of your television set. Okay, okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Dauda Jerusalem. I'm from Niger State. Dauda from Niger State. Please go ahead with your contribution, Dauda. So, what I want to contribute on this is in terms of your issue is that, yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Hello? Go ahead, go ahead with your contribution. Okay. God has already bought the case that he wanted to vote. So, I'm afraid we lost that. Would you call it in and able to turn down the volume of your TV set so we can have a crystal clear communication? We have to round up this segment now. Okay. What roles, specific roles, what attitude, what uh, decisions must the electorate make at this time as we hope for a credible election? We should, in we should watch very well, mm. plain clearly. And we have made a, a personal area that you can see those candidates. In our, on our website. Okay. So, in other words, we are mobilizing our members now. That is, the members we are facing now is at the electorate. We talk to them, we talk to them, and we make them to see the reason why we should, for now, should not miss it. Yeah. If we missed it, it's another four years. Yeah. Now, it's, it's better for us to not miss it now and correct ourselves in the next four years. Yeah. So, by doing that, we are using that one to sensitize them, using that one to enlighten them, and have them that this one have done this, this one has done this, this one is coming to do this, this one is coming to do this. Sometimes those promises they are giving are the ones that make the electorate to set back. But this is not today. We are talking 16 years ago. They have been giving the promises. I think for now or by now, they are not supposed to be saying, I'm going to give you water. I'm going to give you light. And I'm going to do your, do your road for you. So that's what's supposed to have gone forever. We could have seen another thing. It's part of things they're supposed to do. But now, if you look at it today, the infrastructure in this country is still mount. Okay? Light. See how what the paper says has dropped to almost 2,000 something as megawatts has been dropped. Out of how much? 4,000. So what are we talking about? So in other words, what Nigeria needs, they are very sensitive. Nigeria is so good. Nigeria is so kind. They are just looking for that person to 
feed their mind and read their lips that, okay, you said this and you do it. They can die for that person forever. Well, Adebola Adeniji Adele is the no. President of uh, Citizens Liberation Advocacy Initiative. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for, for having me this morning. We're hoping that you also find time to join us subsequently. Yes, thank you. It's all right. We'll take a short <laughs> break now, and when we come back, we'll find out issues towards uh, ensuring a violence-free election ahead uh, the February 2015 poll. Stick around. Don't go away. You can now watch Core TV News live from anywhere in the world on our website, www.coretvnews.com. Click on Live TV on our website and watch us live. And welcome to Core TV Primetime News. To follow us on Twitter, click on Twitter icon on our website. And Facebook, click on the Facebook and YouTube to see all our previous news production. You can also watch us live on YouTube. Click Core TV. Leave a space, then news. Core TV News, a 24-hour news station.